Hey guys, so Demetra earlier today made a comment asking if it's possible to play with this old Sora mod so it doesn't work with the current version of Risk of Rain. And I found it actually is possible. It does involve downloading an older version of the game though, so it's going to be a little complicated and you have it's best to do it manually, I guess I should say. So first, if you're going to do this, I would recommend making a backup of your user profiles. If you can see the path here, then the Steam user data, then your user ID, then 632360. That's the ID for Risco Rain and remote user profiles. Just copy and paste these somewhere, just in case. We don't want you to lose any data, of course. Once you have that, you'll need to download that old version of Risco Rain. And you can get it from this old Reddit post by Tuxedo Derby Cat. And they had the foresight to make backups of all the different Risk of Rain versions. And I'll include a link to this post down in the description. You'll want to use his link and download the September 1st, 2020 patch, at least for what we're doing here. It's kind of a big file, so yeah, it should be about a gigabyte or so. And you also want the old version of the plugins related to the Sora KH2 mod by Jav Angle. So you have to do this manually. If you do it through the R2 mod manager, it might download the most updated version of these mods, and I don't think that works. So once you get to this page, just open these in a new tab and download those as well. So download these manually and have them all in the same spot right here to start with. So that's version 2.5.14 for the R2 API and version 5.3.1 for the BepinX pack. So once you have everything downloaded, you should have four different files here. So this is the game. Unzip that. So much data. Okay. Open this new folder in its own window just so it's easier. Okay, and then next you want to extract the Bepinex pack. Open it. Then open this one. And these you want to drag into that main directory where the exe is. There we go, that looks good. Now we get the R2 API. And for the R2 API, we want to put this in the plugins folder for the Bepinex pack. Just move that. And finally, for the SOAR mod, extract that one as well. Open it. Just drag the TLL file. And there you go. That should all be all you need to do. Now start your game from here. It may ask you to select your profile. Either create a new one or pick one of your existing ones. Remember to... You want to make sure you've backed up your profiles if you pick one you've already used. And then, support. 